How's it going, everyone? Mega Mashers here, and I bring you guys a very quick, fast paced, epic back and forth battle that I have had on Pokemon Showdown just not even 20 minutes ago. And this battle features a team that I am so damn proud of. Not just because of how effective this team is, but sentimentally because of the fact that this team has been given to me from a very awesome Facebook group known as Pokemon Central. More specifically, thanks to my friend Darius Johnson for this team. Big shout out to him. Big shout out to Pokemon Central. This team is epic as fuck. And I just gotta say, why the hell is Hydreigon UU? That, to me, is an insult. This Pokemon has the ability to rip holes in teams the size of Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I mean real big holes. So with that being said, it's time for me to finally play back this epic as fuck battle. Let's go! Woo! So there you see, I lead with my Gliscor, and my opponent leads with Landorus Therian. Now he goes for the knockoff right away, and I'm just like, well, fuck me senseless. This is not good. So I decide to go for my Stealth Rocks. He goes for his Stealth Rocks. And I go for Stone Edge and I miss, because that's the only move that I can really use to hit cause damage. He goes for Stone Edge, doesn't do that much. I go for Stone Edge, and it doesn't do that much either. In fact, it, at the end of the other uh, leftover recovery, does 10%. So he goes into Rotom Wash, and I go for Stone Edge again. Now, me thinking that I could outspeed this thing, because normally defensive Rotoms uh, have n really no speed investment, but he ends up going for the Hydro Pump and the outspeed. It misses, so I go for Taunt in case it wanted to burn me, but of course, it goes for Hydro Pump again, outspeeds me, and takes me out. And I'm like, okay, well, this is not good. I'm down 5 to 6, so I decide to bring in my Hydreigon, LL on the nickname Free Blowjobs. Thanks to my buddy Darius, he loves his nicknames, but he goes, my opponent goes for the Volt Switch for Rotom Wash and goes into Scizor. Now look at that shit! 68% damage to a resisted Scizor. Holy fuck, that's amazing. And I take him out with the Dark Pulse. And then here comes Gallade. I'm like, oh man, I gotta stay in and otherwise this thing's gonna set up and sweep me up. So I go for the Draco, does his respectable 43%. And then he goes for Bulk Up. I'm like, what? I haven't seen a Bulk Up Gallade on Showdown yet. And then of course it goes for Drain Punch and gets quite a bit of health back. So I'm just like, well, Hydreigon did its job. So I bring in my perfect sail, that Latios, and I drop a Draco on Gallade's head and knock him the fuck out. So, he goes for a Hydreigon, and I'm like, okay, I need to stay in and do as much damage as possible. He lives with 6%. That is fucking clutch, yo. But of course, then he goes for a Dark Pulse, takes me out, and I'm like, okay, I need to bring in my Raikou. And of course, main is Garb. Well, not really, but he goes for Dark Pulse, gets a crit on me, and I go for that Hidden Power Ice, take his ass out. So, it's 3-3. Down to the wire, pretty much. He goes for lander steering. Now, I thought he was going to outspeed me for the Earthquake. I thought he might have been Scarfed or whatever. Oh, no, not Scarfed, but just like... I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at that point. I'm like, okay, I have to win. But, of course, I take him out with that beautiful Hidden Power Ice. And then comes Talonflame. Hangs on with 3% after a Brave Bird. Holy shit, that's clutch. I take him out with that Thunderbolt. And then now, it's 3-on-1. It's 3-on-1. And Rotom Wash is now the lone survivor. I go for the Thunderbolt. He lives with 15%. And to add insult to injury, he misses his Hydra Pump. The only chance to take out my Raikou. And then I drop the last Thunderbolt. And that is the game. Holy shit. You know what? A battle doesn't have to have, you know, 50, 100, 150, or fuck, even 500 turns to be an epic battle. I was on the edge of my seat. As you see right here, right there, 17 turns. But you know what? That's 17 turns of pure awesomeness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, please check out Pokemon Central. That group is filled to the brim with a bunch of certified trainers that are more than willing to help you out if you give them the time and patience of the day. Thank you guys for watching, have a good one, and I shall see you guys next upload.